Let's test your knowledge of limits. Can you answer this question using this graph? What is a reasonable estimate for the limit of g of x as x approaches 5? I'm Sheldon. For the last 15 years, I've been perfecting the fastest possible way for students to prep for and ace their math exams. Let's dive in. So this question, if we look where x approaches 5, here's 5, here's on the x-axis. So as we approach 5, we have a bit of a problem. It's that the function is not defined for x is equal to 5. So there's some more instructions at the top here. The function g is defined for all real numbers except for x is equal to 5. So we don't actually have a function value. If you put in x equals 5 into the function, there's no, there's no output at all. Okay, so the question is, how does that affect the limit? Well, actually, for limits, we don't care what happens when at the actual point. So at x equals 5, we don't care what the function value is. It does not even need to exist. Like in this case here, it doesn't exist. That's totally fine. The dot could have also been up here. It could have been up here. It could have been down here. It doesn't matter, okay? For limits, we only care what happens as we get close to that function value, okay? So if you're finding, and only if you're finding this video helpful so far, please uh, support the channel. Please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and if you're feeling super generous, please repost. All right, so to actually answer this question of limits, what we have to do is we have to analyze coming from the left and coming from the right. This is always required for limit questions. That's what this actually means. So there's some hidden, there's a hidden question here when they say, what is the limit as x approaches five? Notice how there's no plus sign and no minus sign here. And I'm gonna show you in the walkthrough. So down here, see, we have to come in from the left, we have to come in from the right. There's specific notation for that. That specific notation looks like this. This is coming from the left, and this is coming from the right. So you'll notice, coming from the left, we have a little minus sign. That means x approaches five from the left. And the one below it means x approaches five from the right. So let's look at from the left with this minus sign. That is referencing we come in, we approach x equals five from the left. So these x values here, like one, two, three, four, and then getting close to five. And we ask what happens to this function as we do that, as we approach from the left? And the answer is, well, it's the value negative two. And then coming from the right, we have this notation, x approaching five with a plus sign. That means from the right. So that means we come in from the right here. And then notice these two match, okay? So coming from the right as well, the function values approach this here of negative two. Since they're negative two on the left and negative two on the right, and it's the same thing, we can say that this limit exists. They have to match up and they have to be finite numbers. They do in this case, so this function exists. 